May the love and peace of the Lord be with us all, as we listen to today's Gospel and Reflection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. September 18, 2023, Monday of the 24th week in Ordinary Time. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. And when he had completed all his words in the hearing of the people, he entered Capernaum. Now the servant of a certain centurion was dying, due to an illness. And he was very dear to him. And when he had heard about Jesus, he sent elders of the Jews to him, petitioning him, so that he would come and heal his servant. And when they had come to Jesus, they petitioned him anxiously, saying to him, He is worthy that you should provide this to him. For he loves our nation, and he has built a synagogue for us. Then Jesus went with them. And when he was now not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to him, saying, Lord, do not trouble yourself. For I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Because of this, I also did not consider myself worthy to come to you. But say the word, and my servant shall be healed. For I also am a man placed under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to one, Go, and he goes, and to another, Come, and he comes, and to my servant, Do this, and he does it. And upon hearing this, Jesus was amazed. And turning to the multitude following him, he said, Amen I say to you, not even in Israel have I found such great faith. And those who had been sent, upon returning to the house, found that the servant, who had been sick, was now healthy. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How can you embrace the humility demonstrated by the Roman centurion, and seek the intercession of a saint in your own prayer life to deepen your connection with God? Lord, do not trouble yourself, for I am not worthy to have you enter under my roof. Therefore, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and let my servant be healed. Luke 7 verses 6 to 7. What's interesting is that, these humble words, spoken by a Roman centurion, were not actually spoken by the centurion to Jesus. This is because the centurion did not believe he was even worthy of going to Jesus himself. Therefore, he sent some of his friends to speak these words to Jesus on his behalf. In a real way, the friends of this centurion acted as intercessors before Jesus. Jesus' response was to express amazement at the centurion's faith. Jesus said to the crowd who was with him, I tell you, not even in Israel have I found such faith. And at that point, the servant was healed by Jesus from a distance. Most of the time, if we have an important request to make of another, we do so in person. We go to the person and speak face to face. And though we certainly can go to our Lord in prayer, face to face, person to person, there is something very humble about bringing our needs to our Lord through the intercession of another. Specifically, there is something very humble about asking for the intercession of the saints. Seeking the intercession of the saints before our Lord is not done because we are afraid of our Lord, or because he would be offended by us going directly to him. It is ideally done as an act of the utmost humility. By entrusting our prayer to those who are in heaven, gazing upon the face of God, we do entrust our prayer to God. But relying upon the intercession of the saints is also a way of acknowledging that we are not worthy, by our own merits, to stand before the Lord and bring him our request. This humility can be difficult to understand at times, but it's important to try. What is it that you need to pray for in your life right now? As you call that to mind, pick a saint to act as your friend and intercessor before God. 
Turn to that saint in humility and say a prayer to that saint, admitting that you are not worthy of going to our Lord on your own. Then entrust your petition to that saint and ask him or her to present that prayer to our Lord on your behalf. Praying to our Lord, through the intercession of a saint, is a way of also saying that you know Jesus' response to you, is pure mercy on his part. And the good news is that, Jesus deeply desires to shower his mercy when we humble ourselves before him, especially by coming to him through the mediation of the saints. Reflect today, upon the humility of this well-respected Roman centurion. Try to understand the power of his humble approach, by which he sent his friends to Jesus on his behalf. As you do, pick a saint in heaven and ask them to go to our Lord on your behalf, and request that our Lord grant you the same humility and faith as this centurion. Doing so will lead our Lord to be amazed at your faith and humility also. Let us pray. Saints of God, please offer to Jesus my humble request, that I grow more in humility and faith. My precious Lord, I do bring this and all my prayers to you. As I do, I acknowledge that I am not worthy of your divine mercy. But through the mediation of the saints in heaven, if it be your will that you bestow your mercy upon me, then I humbly make this request of you through them. Mother Mary, I especially entrust all my prayers to your holy intercession. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel and Reflection. We hope that our small effort gave you a bit of inspiration as you journey your day with God. Please give us a like so this will reach to as many people as possible. Again, thank you and may God bless us all.